Baxter from WebOS Roundup. Today this video is going to be showing you the key software features of the HP touchpad. We're going to walk through a lot of the WebOS standards, but you can see they look a lot different on the touchpad. Uh, I'm going to start off with the Stellar email application. Now this is using version 3.0, so everything is custom built for the touchpad. You can see all of your different uh, mailboxes here on the left. You can uh, you have a middle uh, panel, panel that has all of your messages, and when you click on one, you get a preview on the right-hand side. Um, you can uh, want to see more of them. You can click that little three guys on the bottom, and it loads the entire email, um, and you can make them grow just like that. So there is uh, in portrait mode, it shows you only two of the panels typically um, you'll see maybe a little sliver of another one um, we're going to stay in landscape mode to keep things simple but um, it looks it does the whole switcheroo thing so it looks really great there um, add in an email is just like you expect it pulls up another card and you can um, write your uh, to you can hook into your contacts your keyboard shows up here um, you can just type you know this is email stuff you can do your attachments you can uh, mark it as high priority, save it as a draft, throw it away. Um, while we're here, we'll talk about the keyboard. Um, you can see this is a keyboard that's not normally seen um, in a uh, tablet. It's got a number bar, namely. Uh, that adds a whole lot. And if um, that gets annoying, you want it's taking too much space, you can actually change the size of the keyboard, which no other tablet does this currently. So you can go to super small if you've got really tiny fingers. If you've got uh, really fat fingers, you can go to super huge or somewhere in the between, which is basically where I kept it. You can um, tap on any of the characters here and you can get to different languages. So you can get their um, accents and stuff like that. And you can see the dot, dot, dots here to show you that a lot of different characters do that. Here's the eight. You can do the asterisks if you want to do that. Or you could, of course, just do that. There's the shift button. Um, enter. Here's your comma and stuff like that. Very nice. Here's your symbol keys. So you can do some uh, emoticons and you know math and numbers stuff like that, and of course you got your tab button. Very very nice keyboard, uh, very nice to type type on, uh, and it doesn't get in your way when you don't want it to. Of course, if you don't want to use the on screen, there is a Bluetooth uh, keyboard that you can use. Um, we'll have a video showing that off in a little while, uh, so stay tuned for that. So that's the keyboard, and we're gonna slide this guy out of here. So that's the email client. Let's move over to the web browser. Of course, we've got the best site on the planet up. The uh, web browser is a WebKit browser, as you might have expected. Um, you can uh, add a bookmark, share, add to launcher if you want to launch this site over and over again. Obviously, here is the address bar. Keyboard comes up, as you might expect. If you want to add a new window, this doesn't have tabs like you see in a lot of browsers because there's no need with the card. Uh, with multiple cards, there's just you can have as many as you want. Uh, the iPad 2, for instance, you can only have up to nine sites open at one time. Um, this one, you can have as many as the operating system will hold. Um, over here, you've got your history and your bookmarks. Um, you can see here's your history. If you have any um, files and stuff like that that you've downloaded, you can see those there. I haven't done any on this one yet. Um, so that's the browser. The browser is very nice. It, uh, you can here's your add your add bookmark right there. So we close that. Go back to the main uh, screen. So you can see it's very smooth. Uh, one thing that I do want to show you is um, the uh, flash. As opposed, to, I'm going to go to uh, speed test because this is not really to show you a speed test, as it were. But I'm connecting my Wi-Fi, so it's not really you know, trying to show you how fast the device is. But you can see that flash loads immediately. Um, there's nothing like if you're used to the pre-2 um, where you had to push the little big plus sign to get the flash to run. That's no longer necessary. It just goes like you were on a web, uh, regular web page. Also, you can pan and zoom all the time. There used to be that big old X. That's all taken care of. So this is the uh, Flash 10.3 beta. Um, and it's by far the best uh, flash I've ever seen on a mobile device. I think that's hands down. I don't know if that goes to credit to the uh, touchpad or to Adobe, whichever one. You can see that it... Um, it, it looks just like a desktop. So absolutely stellar uh, flash uh, performance on the device and it's uh, it's the best one I've ever seen. So um, we can see how fast I'm connected currently if you want to, but you can see the animation smooth. Um, so we can, of course, it's still running in the background just like you would expect. 
The uh, next app we're going to take a look at here real quick is the Calendar, which is stellar. Again, um, this is one of their uh, crown jewels, as it were. I mean, you're looking at month view, and you can see these are all the different calendars. Uh, this is their HP WebOS. It's no longer called a Palm Profile, by the way. It's called an HP WebOS account. Not quite. Doesn't roll off the tongue there. But this is um, my work calendar and several Google calendars, and they're all different color-coded. Um, that's nothing new. It's been like that in WebOS for a while, but the screen allows you to do things that you just otherwise wouldn't be able to do. Um, you can see so much more, and you can um, uh, really dig in pretty easily. So if I were to click on uh, here, this is a sun, uh, Friday here, or Sunday, I'm sorry, click on Sunday. You can see this is us going to church. Um, you can see these are two different calendars that are going here. It doesn't do the accordion look like you, um, that we had before, but that's no longer necessary. Um, here's WebOS uh, Radio, WebOS Radio Live there um, that we prepare for. Here's your week view. Um, it's loading here, so you can see this week it's loading up. You can see it looks very good, all color coded, very clean. The size of the screen helps a lot, obviously. You can slide back and forth using that. Um, one thing to note, there is no gesture bar, so there is no back um, that you might be used to. Uh, there is one gesture that slides up that lets you uh, go to card view. Um, so that's the only one that they kept, it's, uh, and that, that's a definitely a great one. Um, but uh, the, here's the calendar again, wonderful, one of the best apps, uh, calendars that representations I've seen on a mobile device. Here's the app catalog. Pivot, we're going to go into more detail in another video about a Pivot and the app catalog, but you know, you can see it looks a lot different. They've done a lot of really nice um, updates to it. So if I click on an individual um, app, you can see this really nice positive negative. Those things get bigger and smaller as there are more reviews. Obviously, right now, there aren't hardly any because, well, the touchpad isn't out yet. Um, so moving along, that's great. We'll show you more of that later. Um, here is uh, the messaging client. This uses Synergy, just like all WebOS uh, stuff. Um, you, it hooks into uh, your multiple chat clients, including Skype. Um, this is Gtalk. Um, you can see if any, I have any other clients, um, you can switch back and forth, change your status, stuff like that. Here's your buddies, you can search, favorites. So this is, a, this is really nice. I mean, this isn't anything um, crazy good, but I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very nice app. You can see they use the panes um, that they use on the email. It does a great job. Uh, but I mean, it is just a messaging app, so it's not gonna like rock your world or anything, but they did a great job. Uh, moving on, this is um, the best app on the planet. And uh, what, what this is really showing off is the uh, WebOS 2.0 uh, and 1.x, 1, 2.x and 1.x emulator. Um, you can see it doesn't take up the full screen. It's keeping it in, it looks kind of like a, um, in a phone and, and it has just your area that you can use here so you can mimic all of the stuff that you're used to you know it looks the exact same it works really well um, but it is obviously small so you're not being able to use your full um, screen but uh, it, it's a nice job um, with the emulator okay next up is notifications I've zoomed in the camera a little bit so you can see the upper right hand corner of the screens to show you notifications up close and personal now, Notifications are something that WebOS has always been strong in, and 3.0 is no different. One thing that is very different, though, is that notifications in 1x and 2x of WebOS always came from the bottom and went up. In 3.0, they put them in the top right corner, and instead of stacking on top of one another um, so that they take over more of the screen, they've, and they've introduced something called stacked notifications, which puts them inside one another. What I can show you here is an email. I've got two emails. And you can see that if I don't want to mess with this one, I can just slide it off to the side here, and that goes away, and the one underneath it shows up. When I'm getting rid of the last one, it takes away the whole notification, and it's gone. So that took, um, gets rid of all my emails that disappeared. Um, if I would have tapped on one, the email client would have come up, and you would have been able to respond to that, of course. Now we've got text messages from myself, because I'm just sad that way. Um, but you can see, again, um, if it was for multiple people, it would do the same thing stack notification this is all me so it doesn't uh, do that um, but you can see the most recent uh, message that was sent to to you yourself um, it's the same with email it shows you the person and the, and the subject or the message itself I'm gonna send myself a text message um, again so that you can see what it looks like when one comes up um, 
Now this is coming through my Pre-3 um, and I will show you another video on what that means exactly, how that all works. But you can see when one comes in, you can see the message, it slides over there, looks really nice, and then it stacks up in the top. So you can see once again that there they are. Um, and when I click on that, it would bring up the chat client. So notifications are really strong and they uh, bring a lot to the system. They don't get in your way and they uh, let you uh, know something's happening without intruding what you're doing, playing a game or uh, writing an email or whatever. Now we're going to talk about some WebOS um, specific things. Here's just type, which you've seen before. This is me going in developer mode. You can see me uh, typing in there. Um, just type it allows you to launch an app um, very easily. So if I wanted to find someone, um, or if I wanted to start launching, say I want a calendar, so I start typing. Comics comes up. Um, you can see here video calls, which is Skype. We'll show a video of Skype uh, later on. You can see I just push T, and you can see contacts that it comes up with. Um, I don't have any contacts to just see, but content, actions. Um, developers can uh, key into this uh, so that things can show up. You've got searches. Um, if I want to search Google for this, um, quick actions, a new memo, stuff like that. So this is uh, just type. If you haven't gotten used to this on a 2.0 device, this is this will change your life because it's just so much faster to load things. Now, it is a little different in the fact that uh, you don't have your keyboard like all the uh, pre-devices have them. Their keyboard's right at hand, so it's not quite as uh, used as much because it's just not quite as convenient. But still, it's one of the best advancements of um, WebOS. Um, you can see we can have, we have stacks just like we did in 2.0. Um, you can stick them together where they will hang out together and you can then move them as a group. So that allows multitasking. Nothing else can do this. Um, iPad has the app switching, which you can do multitasking with, but it's just it's much clunkier. Um, other things to show off, uh, so we don't go too long here. Uh, the menu up at the top, you can see your battery life, your uh, brightness, here's your Wi-Fi, VPN, Bluetooth, um, you've got your airplane mode, rotation lock, which I've got turned on right now, and mute. Um, you can see that all right there. Um, I've got all that hooked up. Um, we're going to show off some of the other features around that. I've got stacks. Um, here's the app launcher, which is, um, we've shown that a little bit. It's a little different than you're used to. They've got some tabs up here. So here's all your standard apps. You can move things around as much as you want. Um, you know, just like you would expect. Um, you can um, remove it, and there's a little X, jump between tabs. Um, let me just do that. We've got favorites um, so that you can put your favorites here and you don't have to worry about hunting them down again, and then settings. So this is a lot more uh, clean. You can do uh, use the real estate a little bit better because they have it, um, so the launcher looks really nice. Um, this has been uh, a, pretty much an overview of WebOS on the touchpad. Uh, be sure to check back to WebOS Roundup for several other videos, including the accessories and um, other things like looking at Beats Audio, looking at uh, Pivot and the app catalog, stuff like that. So check back with us as soon as you can. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.